Hi, I'm Jenny, an athletic trainer at ProMotion. Today I'm bringing you Strong Mama's video number three from my home gym. Now ideally you've already done videos one and two and now you're ready to progress. The Strong Mama's program was designed to increase core strength and improve hip mobility. Let's get started. The first exercise is going to be a bridge march. From video two, we've already done the bridge, so now we're just adding a march to make it a little more difficult. It looks like this. Bridge up, and then bring one leg at a time up into a march. Perform this exercise for two sets of 10. The next exercise I call a hamstring floss. This is gonna be a dynamic stretch of your hamstrings. Bring your leg up 90 degrees and flex your toes back towards your shin. Now you're gonna straighten your leg So stretch your hamstring. We're going to do two sets of 10 on both legs. For the next exercise, we're going to utilize a mini band. This is a nine inch mini band from Perform Better. You can also find these on Amazon. They vary in intensity with different colors and lengths. I would recommend starting with the nine inch yellow or green and then progress on to blue or black. From this position, we're gonna do our sideline clamshell and then hip abduction. If this is too difficult with the band or you don't have a band, you can do it without the band, like in video two. Again, we're gonna do two sets of 10. So now for our clamshell, the band is providing resistance. After you perform 10 repetitions of the clamshell, then I want you to move out to the straight leg raise. You would also do 10 repetitions here, and then return to the clamshell and repeat the hip abduction, and then switch sides. The next stretch we're gonna perform for hip mobility is called the shin box. From this position, bring one leg out almost into like a hurdler stretch, and then this foot goes along the thigh. You wanna to try to get both of your sits bones down and really feel this open up the hip in the front. If this stretch is too difficult, Take one arm out and take pressure off of your hips. I want you to hold this one for 20 seconds and do three times on each side. The last exercise for our warm up is the tall kneeling hip hinge. From this position of kneeling on both knees with your feet down flat, you're gonna hinge at the hip to sit your bottom back towards your heels. When you come up to tall kneeling, squeeze the glutes. 
We're going to perform two sets of 10 for this exercise. Okay, ladies, the first exercise is going to be an air squat. You can hold a dumbbell or not, depending on how hard you want the exercise to be. We're going to do shoot for three sets of 10. So from the front, it looks like this. We're going to sit back like there's a chair behind us. Keep the knees wide. Don't let them touch in the middle. And then from the side, pushing the hips back just like there's a chair behind you, bending the knees to squat. For the next exercise, you're gonna be down in quadruped on all fours for a donkey kick. This is gonna target your glute muscle. So on hands and knees, you're gonna raise one leg up towards the ceiling and squeeze the glute. We're going to do each leg for three sets of ten. Coming down on your belly, the next exercise is prone hamstring curls. You're going to bend one knee to flex your heel towards your bottom and then out straight. I prefer that you do one leg at a time, and again, three sets of 10 on each leg. Coming back into quadruped position, the next exercise is a bird dog. You wanna keep your belly muscles pulled in tight towards your spinal column. Be resting on all fours. We're going to raise an opposite arm and leg out into extension and then back down and switch. So it looks like this. You want to try to keep your back flat and not sway from side to side when switching legs and arms. The next exercise is a plank hold on hands with alternating hip flexion, almost like a mountain climber. Coming up into your plank hold push up position, you're going to alternate bringing each knee towards your chest. You're going to perform three sets of 10. Remember, keep those belly muscles pulled in towards your spine. The last core exercise in this series is going to be the dead bug. We're going to progress to make it harder than it was in video two. We're going to start in that same dead bug neutral position. Arms up towards the ceiling, hips and knees flexed at 90 degrees. Pull the belly muscles down towards the spine. I always tell my clients to pretend they have a waitress tray of drinks on their shins and that you don't want to spill those drinks. If you find your shins traveling south, that's incorrect. Try to keep those up parallel to the floor. So now we're going to alternate extending out opposite arm and legs, similar to the bird dog that we did on all fours. So it looks like this. The left leg is extended and the right arm is back. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. And then back to neutral. Now we're going to switch. So right leg and left arm is extended. Ten seconds. 
back to neutral. To progress this exercise, you would continue lengthening the time of the hold. So from 10 seconds to 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And I prefer you perform three to five rounds on each side. You're almost there, nice work. We're gonna finish with our child's pose stretch but introduce a thoracic rotation component to it today. So from the side, as a review, your toes are down flat and your bottom is sitting back on your heels if your knees permit you to be in this position. If you're up here from being tight, that's okay. You're gonna stretch your arms forward. Place the forehead down if you can. Now let me show you from the front so that we can introduce the thoracic rotation component. So same position. Now you're gonna take one arm and thread through and twist the upper back, mid back thoracic area and hold. And coming back to the start and switching sides. You wanna hold each side for 15 to 20 seconds and perform three on each side. If you followed along the whole time, you've now completed four weeks and are starting week five. Do this video number three for two times for two weeks each, and you have completed six weeks of the Strong Mamas program. I am so proud of you. As always, be sure to take time to rest and reflect on your exercise session. You've worked so hard. Use this time to practice breathing, calm your mind and your spirit. Have a great day.